What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we're comparing Smokey and Mirky with the newest hero, Mikola, on the test servers. Uh, now, sadly, we haven't had our hands on the copy of the hero just yet. We're gonna have to wait till Thursday to build her to, like, one copy, and then Supreme Plus, Mythic Plus, all those different things. Uh, but just by going over abilities, understanding what she can do, and seeing what others are doing with this hero, we can make a pretty good assumption of where she's gonna be the strongest, and where her severe severe lack of viability seems to be so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's jump right into it let's talk about the comparison between Smokey and Mikola so the main reason why we're comparing both of these heroes is they fill very similar roles and they're both S levels from the Mauler faction. We all know Smokey Mirky, very good support hero, has that constant aroma around him that is healing, starts at two tiles, which is very much like Mikola's ability, and gets even wider. They both have attack buffs when their aura aroma is running and they both go up to 20%. So that is something that is very similar. And they also have additional heals, heals where Smokey and Mirky's is, again, more AoE based. While Mikola's is single target, triple three target, plus some buffs to physical and magic defense, things like that. The big difference here it comes in the form of their Mythic Plus. Now, both Mythic Plus exclusives can do damage, but the one thing that Smokey and Mirky will continue to do is be the best pushing AFK journey hero because he does percent of enemy max HP without any limit or threshold based on his own attack. So the damage gets out of control. Also has like a mini stun in there as well. Uh, definitely hero you don't need to go to Supreme Plus because it just increases the healing amount. And we all know Smokey Mirky is amazing. Now when we compare him to Mikola, that's where the true comparison comes in because they fill a very similar niche between these two heroes. Again, Dauntless Him generates a two tile uh, sphere that follows her around. The big difference here she has a range of one and she is a melee damage dealer when she's not healing so that is something to keep in mind that she's very much going to be supportive of melee s teams whereas if you typically have range units on the far side of the battlefield she's not going to be able to support them as well as a melee team and we're going to be going over a bunch of different videos of team compositions that she's going to do really well in when we get her on global but for now we're going to be talking about this again she does give haste and range defense to allies that are within that sphere. That's really good when she gets to a certain amount of total damage dealt. Uh, she's going to do a big AoE heal. And you can see here the duration of the courage sphere goes up. The healing goes up. All those fun things. Uh, the one thing that's really interesting is Heroic Duel does not work properly currently on the test servers. It says this spans the entire field, but in reality, it's like the three center most tiles on the battlefield, which is really weird, and I don't think is honestly attended. Either they messed up the text here, or they messed up the actual implementation of the video, because it just simply does not work um i think i actually might have a picture of it right now it's one that vulcan actually sent me because we were talking a bunch about this hero last night uh yeah here it is so we actually he has a picture of this here let me drag it over to the screen so you guys can see it too uh you can kind of see how it's this like ring right here that's nowhere near the entire battlefield that's like literally three tiles across which is a big issue in a lot of situations so this doesn't seem to be working properly but again she's going to restore allies hp uh in that section and increase their attack so this is almost perfectly the same as long as you're inside the aroma from smoky mirky and as long as you're inside this honor arena that works again i think it's meant to be those three tiles to be honest i don't imagine it's supposed to be the entire battlefield um so we'll have to see uh she does have of course that single target or three target healing as well as giving herself and those allies physical and magic defense which is really really cool uh and the big difference here is once again she does have damaging capabilities with passionate opening but the way this ability works is interesting. She does have, you know, vitality boosting, things like that. But uh, so let's read this one more time. Uh, once Courage Sphere, which is her ultimate that lasts up to 12 seconds, has been active for six of those seconds, it grants combat fury to all allied heroes except herself within range, dealing damage equal to 50% of her attack, not their attack, 
her attack, so you do need to prioritize building her up to enemies adjacent to those allies. These enhancements reset when Card Sphere disappears, and of course, it does increase the damage. So, compared to Smokey and Mirky, who has that one ultimate worth, uh, 10 seconds worth of uh, percentage damage, hers is technically going to be able to be up a much longer time now this is a hero where i think it's either you go supreme plus with her or you really don't build her at all because the enhanced force is really what's important Mikola's card sphere which again is part of her ultimate remains unaffected in duration if her side has control of that honor arena so that little area if you have the mass control of it which there are times you aren't going to have it it basically means you don't have to worry about the duration at least that's what it sounds like uh, and that's important because the longer that's up, the longer this should be able to run. Um, so that's really, really interesting how this works. You could potentially have like damage for an entire fight. Except again, the one thing we I, will, I do want to talk about, the reason why Vulcan and I were talking about this right here is because these summons on Skyclops actually make it so that you lose control of the honor field, which is really, really weird. And you can see all the way in the back here, you got like, the, you just... Your OD just doesn't even get in that field anyway, so he's not going to get healing. This is going to be the struggle. I think overall, if we're comparing them one to one, and you're wondering, should you build a hero? Smokey and Mirky, from one copy all the way up to, I think, Mythic Plus, is still the better copy in just about more game modes. I think overall, no matter what, he's going to be get better in AFK pushing, just because of the way that this thing works however i do think mikola at supreme plus could be one of the strongest heroes for supporting if we're talking about dream realm boss battles and most likely a mauler melee centric pvp team i think that's where she's really going to shine but i do think this is going to be a hero you really want to be able to max out because again this honor arena is going to be a really tricky thing to maximize with just any team you're going to need a specific team that fits this perfectly because again i want to show you guys one more time here uh technically 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 this is not the best arena field for melee heroes because as you know if you have a ton of melee heroes sometimes they sneak around to the side and then once again they're not going to be in that honor arena which is not good for you for two reasons one they're not going to get that uh benefit and number two you might lose control of the field too which is very important very very important so um the weird thing is is i haven't tested it yet i don't know what this part means the side with more units within the area gains control of it after maintaining it for three seconds i don't know if that means they actually gain the benefits or they just control it so you don't get the benefits there's going to be a lot we have to test with this hero but i do think if you're going heavily investment mikola is probably going to become like one of the best support heroes even higher than ludovic because again remember ludovic was the most recent other support that came out and with his mythic plus this does a ton of damage to the enemies uh but it's not as reliable because it's wherever the field is whereas with mikola you might be able to get this to work a lot better because the damage is based on where your allies are and if your allies if there's multiple allies like it literally takes two allies to essentially get the same effect if you have like three allies all around the boss it could be even higher damage potential with higher uptime so we are going to have to test it but i do think mikola with supreme plus is going to be required to really get the max benefit from her if not please wait do not summon your heroes just yet we want to see if she's useful at lower levels because not everybody's going to be able to take her to supreme plus unlock her exclusive to like at least plus 10 right away so give us some time let us test her out right away though it does seem like smoky mirky for the average player is still going to be the better investment however mikola does have some upsides hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time